how do we attain internal and external harmony through education? Do we really know ourselves? Uh, a human being is really complex. He is aware of his physical body, aware of his thoughts and feelings, aware of different emotions. There are positive emotions like love, peace and joy, but there are also deadly negative emotions like anger, envy, lust, pride, hatred, etc. How do we attain harmony in such a chaotic situation? A human being has to deal with the world inside and the world outside. So it is this problem that has led to the topic total education for internal and external harmony. We can find a solution to this problem because Swami Isha, the great visionary and educationist, has devised a unique learning and teaching methodology, education for total consciousness to attain internal and external harmony through education. According to this method of teaching, there is great relevance to the subject object or relationship. And by applying this methodology, every topic, whatever be the discipline to which it belongs to, can be taught by relating to the self, the environment, society, nation, etc. In the classroom, there are three elements, the teacher, the topic, and the student. The teacher who goes into the depth of the topic will find that it is related to his own self. Hence, naturally, it is related to the student as well. Both the teacher and the student can identify with the topic. A close connecting link is established among the three elements, the teacher, the student, and the topic. The teacher realizes that the student is part of his own self, and the student feels the same about the teacher. There is great potential hidden in this approach to teaching and learning. A doctor who has received this training will regard the patient as part of his own self and treat him accordingly. An officer will never be indifferent to the problems of the man who seeks his help. A politician will be working tirelessly for the welfare of the people. A family man can easily maintain peace and harmony in his home by applying what he had learned in the classroom. This methodology has been successfully applied in teaching nursery rhymes to Shakespearean trauma from the structure of the plant cell to the structure of the atom. A new genre of human beings would be created, genuine men and women filled with love, compassion and empathy for every other being in the universe. ETC can bring home the realization that the energy vibrating in the individual is the same energy that is vibrating in the universe. Ultimately, everything is made of energy and Swamiji's unified theory has brought in an added dimension to the ETC method of teaching. The internal harmony of an individual depends on the balanced state of mind when emotion, thought, and action are in alignment. This state of harmony can be attained when he realizes that he is closely bound with every object in the universe and he has no separate end. By attaining the state of harmony, the student can easily feel one with his family. The concept home sweet home will become a reality by applying ETC in everyday life. Be it home, office, school, college, or any other place, those who come out of this education system will treat every other human being, every object in the universe with love and respect. He will keep the water bodies pure for he is aware of the water within his own body. 
he will look at the twinkling stars and realize that the same energy is vibrating in himself. The ultimate goal of every individual is to live in peace and joy. And to attain this goal, he needs to be aware of his own self, environment, society, nation, world, and the universe. If an individual has to live in harmony both inside and outside, he requires proper training and this training can be imparted through total education. <clears throat> 